Hi guys, what's up? It's Joel Pitt here, back with another video, and in this video, it will be for a brand new series of Love Island. It's on our screens again. The last time it was on our screens was January last year, so that's about 18 months ago. We're in Series 7, back in Mallorca in Spain. Um, in this um, video, I'm going to be talking about um, some of the stuff that happened in the episode. I'll talk um, more about the Islanders, um, their info, and some little stuff as well. I'll leave a link down below to my last series, which I um, for 2020, see season 6. This is see, um, season 7. Um, also, as well, before I start, um, recently I found out there's going to be some new more, more new shows. Um, this one called Full Bloom, so it's like a flowering program. Kind of like this Netflix series that was on um, The Great Flower Throwdown or something like that. Um, the Flower Bloom. I don't know what it's exactly called, but it's hosted by Vic Reeves. That's on Netflix. So it's kind of similar to that. That's going to be on More 4 or E4 this July. I don't know when. And then a new sitcom series called Buffering, starring Ian Sterling and some others. That's going to be in August um, on ITV2. Don't know the date for that. So there is going to be spoilers, of course, in um, all these videos because, like, there could be people leaving, there could be people coming in. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get on with it. So it's being sponsored by Just Eat again. Uh, there was a, I think they've changed the different um, picture. I mean, it's still the Golden Heart and all, but it just looks a bit different on the intro. Um, the names as well, um, you know. They're white, but they just look a bit different. And then the chat room that they chat in is a bit different as well. So we heard they had to quarantine for two weeks. And this must be um, the islanders that are going in later as Casa, into Casa Amor. Uh, but they don't know about that. So they're probably in a different room, whatever. And also, like, the new arrivals that will be coming as bombshells. Um, girls struggled opening a bottle at the start. So the first um, girl that entered was Liberty. She's 21, a waitress, um, also a marketing student from Birmingham. We had Kaz, a 26-year-old, who's a flat fashion blogger from Essex. We have Sharon, 25-year-old civil servant for, from Oxford. Faye, a 25-year-old letters manager from Devon. Shannon, a 22-year-old model, but we don't know where she's from. Uh, she didn't tell me. But I think on Instagram as well, you can see all the info there. And on YouTube, I think I should put... I'll put a link down below to, like, a little bit of a playlist, um, Meet the Islanders. And also, you can look on YouTube as well, find out more information about them. We had Jake. Um, he's 24-year-old a water engineer from Somerset and a lot of people have been making memes um, already and he does look a bit like Finn and Liberty kind of does look a bit like Faye, um, Paige from uh, last series who were the winners, Paige and Finn. Um, so we had, well this was the first boy that came in so the girls were lining up and then the boys came in so Jake was the first boy, Liberty stepped forward and Jake went for Liberty. Then we had Aaron, a 24-year-old from London who's in higher developments. Kaz and Faye both stepped forward. But this hasn't really happened. Um, he actually went for someone who didn't um, step forward for him, which I've never seen before. Because all the gap, all, or all the people um, that step forward, they just go for one of them. But he had his eye on Shannon, so he coupled up with Shannon. We then had Hugo, a 24-year-old PE teacher from Hampshire. No one sadly stepped forward, so he went for Faye. Um, then we had Toby, a 22-year-old from Essex, who's a semi-pro footballer. No one stepped forward, and he decided um, to take Faye. So Hugo was then left vulnerable. Then we had Brad, a 26-year-old labourer from North London. And this time, Liberty, who was coupled up um, with Jake. Faye, who was with um, Hugo then. And then Sharon, who was with um, Aaron, stepped forward. So I was like, wow. And then Brad decided to take Faye. So that was Hugo and Toby on the bench. But then Hugo came in before Toby. So he chose Sharon. And then Toby chose Kaz. Um, so yeah, Jake tripped up 
on a step. Uh, there was a box of dares. Liberty and Jake were doing a dance. Um, Faye and Brad snogged. Toby and Kaz suck. Um, would, he, well, he was sucking Kaz's toes. But like Jake has a massive foot fetish, which Finn did last series, and Jake was recording it. Hugo and Sharon um, like kissing the earlobe. Sharon was to Hugo, and then Shannon and Aaron were both twerking. Um, then we had a new person that was coming in, Chloe, a marketing a mar marketing executive from Bisseter, which is in Oxford, I believe. Um, and then there was this um, voice note saying, "Hey boys, I'd like to take you on a date. Choose between you who who to do it." So in the next episode, I will talk more about that. Thank you very much for watching this um, first video. I'll be doing two more um, today and I hope you're looking forward to this new series. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.